Let's paint. All right, so now I'm going to do what I call my current art style, where I do a design in the background and then an outline in the foreground. And um, Miguel's gonna be my subject once again. <laughs> Just for an example, so everybody knows um, what to expect if you want a painting from me. So, I mean, it might look similar to what I just did because Miguel wants, he likes red and black. So, the difference mainly is going to be I'm not going to be using any white or brown in this. So, Miguel likes lightning. So, I'm going to make the background a big lightning strike. And then he's going to be. He's going to be lightning because he strikes my heart. Okay. So, and this is where, um, this is the challenge I like with my um, current art. I'm going to say current art style because my, my 2022 art style is actually moon and everything's in moons. So I'm going to just say this is an extension of my moon style and, and the way I paint currently. But, um, you know, I'm allowing the black again because that's what, that's what his preferences are. And anyone who wants to buy this might want a red and black painting. So I'm going to start with a, I'm going to do this, hor I'm going to do this horizontally. I am going to say this is very experimental because I mainly, all I do is moons for 2022. So this is um, out of the box for me. But we will see how it comes out because, you know, I'm imagining my portraits for people being the essence of who they are. So, um, like Miguel likes lightning, so, and, um, you know, if anybody wants a portrait of them, you gotta tell me something that you really love and tell me what colors you love, if you want in my, in, in this style. I mean, I can do it in the other style too, just like I did. Like I said, this is a, a true experiment, and, and um, I almost don't know what I'm doing. So don't mind me as I do this, as I go along. This is this is why I'm calling outside the box. But actually, you know, I'm seeing people saying, "Oh, well, I like flowers. Can you do a flower background with my portrait in front?" All right, so. The weird thing is I don't have anything to put black paint on. So use black paint. But, um, I said today I'm going to step outside my my box. I'm always stepping outside my box. <laughs> but I feel like this is another step in my creativity get my art out in the world because I, I have a lot to share and I have a lot to give to this world. Red and black. Oh, this is going to be a super, this is going to be super challenging. What did I get myself into? And you know something, I can see it in my brain, and I just need to transfer it onto this piece of paper here. But you know, if you can visualize it, you can make it happen. And um, 
that's what I'm all about. I'm all about making dreams happen, make dreams come true. And creating is part of making your dreams come true. Um, I mean, I have no idea what I'm doing. I did not know, um, well, no, last night I was imagining what I want to paint today. So, but I wasn't sure how I was going to go about it because, you know, one of the things about my art is sometimes it's planned and premeditated. But once I get here, no matter how much I plan, once I get in the moment, I don't know what's going to happen. But I do know I want to make this painting look different than the last one, so there can be a sense of my, what I do. I mean, I, I want to draw, I want to paint more patterns that this is the it's gonna be very interesting. Okay. So I don't want to and if anyone's interested in this painting it is it will be just name your price. So this, um, this is very special. It's, a, it's a, another step for really kind. <laughs> so my biggest challenge is when I work with monochromatic is how to make the foreground pop. And that's what I like to work with, mainly when I do artwork. I like having a background and making the foreground pop out. So now I have to think, how am I going to make Miguel's face pop out of this lightning bolt? Oh, I mean, I have an idea on this now. So, there's our lightning bolt. Now we need to get Miguel into this picture. So, how do I make this pop? What I gotta do is I gotta marry the red and black together. That's what I gotta do. I need to make the red stand out of the red and make the red stand over the black. So, um, let's start with let's get an idea of where this piece is going to be. Let's go for this piece here. Let's give it more of a body in this one. So here is his arm. Shoulders. Okay. So let's make Miguel come to life again in a different way. I have, I have um, quite a few art styles that I do. There's his shoulder blades. And next will be, so 
it's a pause button, you can have it. Alright, so... I, I always feel, I feel this art style is more challenging and I'm more drawn to it because of the challenge that comes along with it. Like making everything pop and work. Using a monochromatic scheme. But I mean, because black is being used, it, black is very easy for me to work with. It's very easy to make things pop with black. Now, had me go on to something um, red and green, that would have been very challenging. And, and I, work with, I work with all color combinations. And my toughest ones are the ones that I like when I have to do it, when I want rainbow on top of rainbow. And making everything pop. And making it work. This is beautiful. This is nice. Sexy lip from his lips. Now you will notice when I do hairstyles, I'm very involved in the hairstyles. I usually will make some. Okay. Is it suddenly cut off? Oh, you just oh, so it was recording. No, I just turned it back on. I think it's tricking me. It'll turn off because it's voice activated somehow. Alright, so what some people may notice when I do hairstyles, they tend to be very um, on the intricate side. But I tend to make people have longer hair because I like long hair. <laughs> it happens, but that's always. Like, um, Miguel's hair doesn't go past his shoulders, but I'm making it go past his shoulders. Also, because he, he would love to have his hair go past his shoulders. Now, it's been stuck at this length for so long. Uh, it's okay. Why is it that when people want long hair, it never grows, and when people that don't want long hair, it just grows like wild? Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I, I, I know I, I can be natural like that in these videos. So, the big point in my, when I do this style is, it's all about the, what I call, what I call the elegance of lines. So it's not, he's not going to be colored in because the background is what his um, what he's colored in with. He's colored in as a lightning bolt. But there's more purpose to this that I'm, I'm seeing as I'm painting this. Because um, a lot of meanings will start coming to me as I paint this. Now, um, and the lightning bolt is ending where his heart is. So I may take the liberty of doing something like this. Representing a heart. But not obvious. An, an, an anatomical heart. Okay, so there we go. There's we're almost, we're getting there, we're almost done. I really, um, this is my, this is the way I like to paint in 2022. Okay. Now I'm gonna do some black in. One eye. See there. Alright, 
so what's happening to me right now is I'm feeling like the painting is almost done. Yes, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Um, I do feel like he needs another element of me gone since I have space. Gail likes his clothes. So, this, this is how this cloak. Alright, it looks like Miguel is almost done with the pen. Pop. <laughs> I'm just going to make this hair continue off the page. There we go. There's my paintings. I do. Uh, I think my paintings have a bit of prophecy to them. Alright, so there we go. Here is Miguel. That's it. This is my version. This is a color version. And this is another art style that I do. More of my current ones. So, let me re explain. Miguel likes lightning. He likes red and black. So I work that into as part of him as the artwork. Because when I do artwork, everyone gets to be part of the art, just as I am. And there we have it. Let's see a little piece of... Ooh. How did that get there? Let me just fix that. Yeah. Right. And that is it. Now I'll just do a little signature here. Very interesting thing about my signatures is they change every year. But I believe that brings even more work to it. So you see a little tiny moon at the bottom. It looks like a W. You know, it's from 2022. There we have it. Now let's see what Miguel thinks of Miguel. Alright, Miguel, what do you think? Yay, I like Here, that one. Here's your lightning. And so this concludes this painting session. So this art style is how I currently paint, and um, I do have um, a few art styles, but um, this is the main one I do, and, I, and in the previous video, which will be linked at the end of the video, is the other art style that I do. So if anyone is interested in their portrait of themselves, let me know, and I will be happy to paint a portrait of you and make yourself into art, like I make myself into art. Thank you for joining me, and here's Miguel with Miguel. <laughs>